What's going on everybody? It's Mr. Marklevitz once again today bringing you another lecture video. Today we are continuing our lesson on cinematography, specifically lenses. So let's get into it. Now there are two categories of lenses. There are prime lenses and zoom lenses. Now prime lenses have a fixed focal length, which means that you don't have the luxury of being able to zoom in or out. If you're shooting on a 50 millimeter lens, then you're shooting on a 50 millimeter lens, okay? There's no other option. Shooting on a prime lens will certainly make your images sharper, and also because prime lenses have a larger aperture, they're very good at shooting in low light situations, and they can really help give your images that shallow depth of field, which is what we were talking about last week in our discussion on focus. Another advantage to shooting on a prime lens that I didn't put up here because I ran out of space is that it forces the camera operators to, to get up and move around, okay? Too often I'll have students filming a sporting event or an assembly or something, and they'll just sort of find a, a nice quiet place in the corner to set up their camera and their tripod, and they'll just film the whole event from that single vantage point. But if you were shooting on prime lenses, you would have to, you know, get up and move around. If you want a close up, then you need to be close, okay? So that's certainly another advantage to shooting on prime lenses. Now, with a zoom lens like this, you have what's called a varied focal length. I can zoom in or I can zoom out, right? And the big advantage to shooting on a zoom lens is that it saves time because you're not constantly swapping out lenses, okay? So if you have a scene where there's two characters engaged in a conversation and you're filming on a zoom lens, you can start wide for your master, and then once the camera starts to cut in for the singles, you can adjust the zoom lens to get the medium close-ups and the close-ups and all that good stuff, and you can even get some extreme close-ups when it really calls for it, all simply by adjusting the zoom lens, okay? You can't do that with the prime lenses. With the prime lenses, you would constantly be taking them off and screwing new lenses on, and yeah, that takes a lot of time. If you're traveling, you're not gonna wanna lug around a suitcase full of prime lenses when you know a single zoom lens will satisfy all the needs that you have. So if I was a young student filmmaker and I was purchasing my first lens, I think I would definitely make it a zoom lens, and then once you've sort of grown comfortable uh, with the zoom lenses, you can start to graduate to some of the more prime lenses. But uh, hey, that's just me. Now, I've been using this term focal lengths throughout this presentation, so it's important that we go through each of these different types of lenses and explain how they can affect your film. So, if you have a focal length in the 18 millimeter to 24 millimeter range, we would categorize that as an extreme wide angle. Now, extreme wide angle lenses are great if you want to show a close up and a landscape in the same shot. The fisheye look that's a result of using an extreme wide angle can certainly distort your images. It can exaggerate facial features by making the nose and forehead look a little bit more bulbous. And because of how they distort the frame, these extreme wide angles have a very unique look to them, okay? Now in the 24 millimeter to 35 millimeter range, we're starting to talk about wide angle lenses. These lenses are great for filming wide shots and accentuating movements. If you have a fight scene or some sort of sporting event or maybe just a character running, I don't know. And they're really great for establishing distance between characters, especially in small spaces. In the 35 millimeter to 50 millimeter range, which is what this lens is, we start to get a more standard look. Because their look is so similar to the way that we perceive the world, they really give the film a more realistic look to it, okay? It really makes it feel like, you know, we're right there in the scene. And then in the 70 millimeter plus range, we're starting to talk about telephoto lenses. Now these are those long lenses that you see sometimes at sporting events that look like they're about a mile long. And these lenses are great for capturing subjects in the distance from far away. They're really great at isolating characters in a crowd and they can condense space. Now, in this scene from The Graduate, we see Dustin Hoffman's character running towards the camera, and this shot is done with a telephoto lens. And because of the way that it was filmed, this shot really comments on one of the major themes of 
the graduate. So your lab assignment for this week is to record video examples using the four types of lenses that I discussed in this lecture. The extreme wide angle, the wide angle, the standard lens, and the telephoto. Now unfortunately I do not have enough prime lenses for us to use for this lab assignment the way that it's written on the board. However, all of the cameras that we use are zoom lenses, so what I'm going to ask is that you find a subject, you know, a student in your class to film, and you will zoom the camera out as far as it'll go, put them in front of the camera in a wide shot so their feet should be at the bottom of the frame, the top of the head should be at the top of the frame, and once you roll on that for about five seconds, you'll stop the camera, zoom in about a quarter of the way, have your subject walk down the hallway a little bit, and basically get the same composition. Again, have your subject in a wide shot, feet at the bottom, head at the top, roll on that for a couple of seconds, stop, zoom in a little bit more, do it again, and then zoom in as far as the camera will go, which will give you that telephoto look, and have your subject stand in front of the camera for a fourth time. Again, feet at the bottom of the frame, head at the top of the frame, roll for five seconds, and you will essentially get your four different types of lenses, all right? Your film for this week is Days of Heaven, Terrence Malick's Days of Heaven from 1978. Don't be confused by the title. It's, it's not a religious film, so don't come at me, parents, all right? It's an ironic title, sort of like uh, The Great Gatsby or uh, Funny Games or something. So uh, nevertheless, it's an absolutely gorgeous looking film. Terrence Malick has, has built his entire career on just making very gorgeous looking films and uh, Days of Heaven is, is, is no exception. And it's only 90 minutes long, so yeah, love it. Anyway guys, uh, that was Lesson 3.4, talking about lenses. Email me if you have any questions or talk to me in class. And as always, thank you for watching. See you later, bye.